Hello and welcome back to TubiCon. In this video, we're going to be showing you some key media features within the TubiCon environment. In previous videos, we have showed you registration, linking your device, linking to Facebook. We also showed you a live broadcast stream to Facebook. All these, all these videos will be available. The links are below in the description area. Right, let's log in. So, for this video, we're going to be clicking the media tab, and we're going to be showing you a soccer or football game. Um, these can actually be adapted to all industries, not just soccer. Uh, they can be adapted to various sports. It can also be adapted to things like uh, e-learning, music and entertainment, radio and podcasting, conferencing, and uh, corporate uh, communications. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to create our teams. I've actually already created the, the, the team. So what you'd need to do is um, either upload or drag and drop your team logo uh, into this area over here. You'd abbreviate the name of the team, and then what you would do is write the full name, and then you would add your players. So you would number them in this area here, and then you would name them. And would there be an active player or a bench player? And then you would save those options. And then what you would do is create your second team. With The same would apply. You would uh, take an image. You can drag or drop, or you could upload it. Abbreviate, name your team, and then your numbers would be on the left-hand side. And then you'd write down the names of, of each player. You'd save that as well. And this is all going to be saved in this FX area. So when you go to the live tab, you'll see the FX uh, logo there, uh, which I'll show you in a moment. So let's click on the uh, live tab. The first thing that you'll see is the FX icon, which you'll click on here. And then you'll see, then you'll have to select which team you want where. Um, and then you would click yes or tick. And then you choose the teams. So then what you'd see is if you hover over number one, number two, and number three, you'd see the name and number of each player. Then towards the bottom, you'd see the game clock, the extra time uh, scoreboard, as well as red and yellow cards, and a goal feature, the substitute on and substitute off, as well as the player grid. And then what you'd see right in the middle is this is what you would click when the game begins or the second half begins or the first or second extra time begins. Or you could start a new game. So we'll click that in a moment. Um, what we'll first do is switch on the um, recording devices or the in this case the mobile devices um, before we go into the, into the game. So the game has obviously already started. Um, while doing this. So I'm just going to turn on the cameras in, in, in this case. Right, so now that your cameras are switched on, you can obviously see the two different screens over here, which you can switch between. Uh, and you'll obviously know which one you're on as it will be highlighted in red, for example. So now we're going to start the game in the second half. So that information would appear in the left-hand corner. So what you can do uh, at the bottom here is obviously have the player's information. So for example, we're going to put number five, um, which is Chris, and Chris is going to score a goal. So then you'd confirm that on the screen, and that information would come at the bottom, uh, sorry, the top left-hand corner of the screen. You could also overlay that with a larger image which you'd agree to on the camera. And that would appear at the bottom over here with the score, for example, in this case being 3-1. Um, and you could add things like uh, a yellow card, for example. Um, that yellow card, again, would then appear here. So essentially, all different features uh, that would happen in a game. Um, you could, again, switch between the various cameras, for example, and below some of the um, information regarding the players. And you could also do a substitution 
on, for example, or a substitution off. Um, with a, and that you'd obviously set up in your media area as we as we saw earlier. And this can actually be edited live as well. You would just need to um, save that. Uh, and then we can return back to our live screen where obviously everything went up. You could then use the chat feature to speak directly to the people that are on the cameras. Uh, and then if you wanted to stream this live to Facebook you, or any social media uh, platform, in this case, Facebook, you could click the uh, Facebook tab and you would say yes. You would run down to Facebook, refresh your page, and then that image would be streaming live to Facebook over here. Let's just return to our operated side. Right, so that is some of the key features, obviously, in this um, soccer or football um Feature. However, it can be adapted, uh, as mentioned, to various other industries as well as different sports, obviously. And keep in mind, um, if you are um, filming some a long events, a uh, press conference, a e-learning, a corporate communication, um, uh, a keynote address, um, nothing is going to be stored on your actual device. Um, this is all going to be stored in the cloud, which is obviously a very key feature um, of Tubicon. Uh, one thing I, I should say is what, always remember to switch off your, um, your, your stream to Facebook and always switch off your live environment. And that will obviously save you some time for the next time that you would like to broadcast. Thank you very much for your time uh, and for listening. If you have any questions, feel free to contact Chibicon um, and please look at some of our other uh, videos on, on, on YouTube. Thank you very much and uh, have yourself a great day.